Next time you see this plant in your backyard, don't cut it down, because this is the best natural painkiller you'll ever find. Some people even compare it to morphine. This common plant is called wild lettuce, and was commonly used by Native Americans two centuries ago for both food and medicine. So today I'm going to show you how to make a simple wild lettuce extract to keep in your medicine cabinet and use whenever you need it. Now if you take a leaf or stem and squeeze it, you'll see a white substance coming out. This is where the potency of the plant lies. Because of this white juice, the early European settlers also called it opium lettuce. This milky substance doesn't contain any opiates, but it's working on the central nervous system directly to lessen the feeling of pain. Nowadays, many people are turning their attention back to this lost knowledge and use it as a replacement for addictive prescription pain medicines. So let's avert our gaze from our modern survival thinking for just a bit and look at how our great-grandparents did it 150 years ago. This is exactly the kind of information I found in this 350-page book called The Lost Ways. This is probably the only survival book I've actually enjoyed reading. You won't believe how many survival things we've lost to history. I found the wild lettuce on page 113 and decided to make my own painkiller. I collected about 50 leaves today and washed them thoroughly. So the first thing you should do is grind them up in a blender, not very thinly and only just for a few seconds. Place the ground leaves into a wide pot and add just enough water to cover them. Now place the pot on the stove on low heat for 30 minutes. Do not let it boil because you'll destroy all the good stuff in it. Stir every 15 minutes until the water reaches a dark brown color, just like this. Now pour the substance while still hot into another pot through a strainer. Almost none or very little plant material should get through it. Try to squeeze as much water as you can while the plant is in the strainer. This solution contains all the core elements of wild lettuce, especially the pain-killing essence. But it's not concentrated enough, yet. So in order to obtain this essence, you should warm it over low heat again until the water is vaporized, basically dehydrating the solution until it becomes a paste like this. Be careful at the end when there is little water left. You should not burn the extract at the bottom of the pot. What you should have now here is pure wild lettuce extract. You can pour it in a small glass container like this and put it in your medicine cabinet for later use when you'll need it. Wild lettuce is unscheduled by the FDA, meaning it's legal to grow, own, and forage without prescription or license, just like how the Native Americans used to heal their pain. In the Lost Ways, you'll find lots of these common and valuable weeds with pictures, how to identify them, how to prepare them, and how to use them, all with different medical effects. Because when the medical system collapses, this will be the only option you have to heal yourself. I personally happen to know the man behind this book. Claude is an old-fashioned guy by any standard. He lives with his wife and two children in a log cabin he personally built. Cooks outside on an open flame in a cauldron most of the time, and all of his clothes are handmade. He has a 150-square-foot root cellar stuffed with all sorts of homemade canned foods and goods, and he raises cows, sheep, and chickens. I thought several times to myself that this guy will never be troubled by any crisis, because the coming crisis we all prep for is what folks 150 years ago called daily life. No electrical power, no refrigerators, no internet, no computers, no TV, no hyperactive law enforcement, no Safeway or Walmart. They got things done or else we wouldn't be here. In the next seven minutes, Claude will unearth a long-forgotten secret that helped our ancestors survive famines, wars, economic crisis, disease, droughts, and anything else life threw at them. A secret that will help you do the same for your loved ones when America crumbles into the ground. He's also going to share with you three pioneer lessons that will ensure your kids are well fed even when others are rummaging through garbage bins. In fact, these three old teachings will improve your life just as they did for me immediately.